you welcome back today we're going to be looking at morgan hill that's a thousand trails camp uh, over by san jose and i'll tell you the views were phenomenal uh, this park definitely you're going to want to check out So yeah, this is our campground here, and I tell you, it was, man, it was nice. It was nearly level. Uh, barely had to do any adjustments. Uh, of course, that's me eating. Um, but again, don't forget to subscribe. Hit that subscribe button, and uh, you can see all the cool stuff that we're going to have coming up. So this is just a tour through the park. Again, so many nice trees, big open spots. I mean, honestly, it's... It was a really nice park. I mean, I was honestly very surprised. This is probably my favorite, uh, if not one of my favorite, Thousand Trails parks. Uh, it was just well put together. It was nice. Uh, just, it was clean. Uh, and so there weren't many spots that didn't have, or weren't many spots that had issues with electrical. Uh, honestly, it was... <sighs> I just, this was just a really, really nice park. As you can see, we're just kind of moseying through. They had a lot of different loops. They had a lot of different spaces. A lot of trees for shade. He also had nice bathrooms kind of throughout the park as well, so. And as you can see here, you got a lot of different options for spots. They had nice open spots. They had long spots. They had you know, areas where you could have 50 amp hookups and 30 amp hookups. Here's the tent area. So you can see, and the tent area was even super nice. And there's some cabins nearby. And these are the bathrooms. So the bathrooms, let's just say, hashtag would poop there again, for sure. The only issue I had is one of the toilets was a little loose. Other than that, man, these bathrooms were really like just super nice. So these were a couple of bathrooms from a couple of different uh, areas of the park. As you can see, I mean, they really have everything nicely put together. Uh, had no issue. It was just really nice. There's the yurts that you can uh, rent. Be careful because they do not have AC, so it's more of a winter thing. Uh, as we travel through the park here, again, nice, really nice shaded areas, green grass. Uh, we're going to come up to our two campsites here. We are there with friends, and it was just really nice to to be able to you know, have nice spots like this. So of course being by San Jose, I had to check out the Winchester Mystery House. I've actually never been here, nearly 40 years old, lived in California most of my life. But this place was kind of crazy. It had so many open doors and windows that led to nowhere or complete drop-offs. So this was designed by the uh, by Sarah Winchester, uh, heiress to the Winchester Rifle Fortune. And she felt that the spirits of those killed by the rifle uh, were haunting her and were destined to uh, destroy her and her family. So she was told by uh, a person in a seance that she needed to continue to build and build and build. And literally building went on here for 24 hours, seven days a week. Uh, so by all means... This definitely was a cool place to check out. Maybe not so much a cool place to bring like little kids, 
but it was definitely a cool place to check out. Uh, if you're in the area, it's, you know, it's State Historical Park now, but it's definitely, definitely worth it. I would have liked to go pre-COVID uh, just to see what really what it was like to get kind of tours uh, from the docents there, but uh, the docents that we talked to did have some interesting information, you know, about uh, the house and he talked about kind of the spirits and uh, they said everybody's friendly. They haven't had any bad experiences there. Uh, so, but yeah, it was, it was just, a, just a kind of a cool experience. Again, if you're in the area, definitely go just to say you went. Of course, when we got back, I had to be lounging in my hammock. Uh, I got to do a review on this thing. This thing was so worth the buy and not very expensive overall. Uh, and I'll tell you the relief that it gives you on your back uh, if you got back problems is so nice. It's not that hard to get in and out of. So definitely, definitely worth looking into. But here we have the Olympic size swimming pool. So this is one thing that uh, Morgan Hill definitely boasts on. Um, it has a disability lift. So if you have a disability or family or uh, children with disabilities, it has a lift to help you in. Uh, this pool looked phenomenal. We did not take a dip while we were there, unfortunately, but um, just wasn't quite hot enough. Um, but as you can see, just uh, you have so many just cool areas just to relax in. There's so many activities to do here with kids. And again, after COVID's kind of done, they're going to be doing a lot of activities here, it looks like. Uh, you got the cabins that are there, and this is the whole back loop. Um, that was there where some of the 50 amps were and some more 30 amps. So there was just a lot uh, available there but Definitely Morgan Hill is definitely a spot you want to check out um, We got 49er RV up in Columbia coming up next uh, Going in June. So look forward to that and as always Keep traveling <laughs>